All right, we um, got to talk about Hot D. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, King like the spoilers for Hot D, but the the arc and of House King Viserys was probably, I would say, better than anything in Game of Thrones. Yeah. That whole, oh, yeah. like, just like this show made like it built up to a moment where just an old man walking across a hallway or walking across a room was the most riveting thing I've ever seen. Like the, the yeah. weight of just him, uh, him in his decrepit state was like summoning the energy to walk to that throne. Cause he knew he had to save his family. Like right. he, he, like in his, his adult state, he knows that like, I have to fix this before I go. And what does I that know- mean? That mean that means that we know what he wants, we know what they want, and we know what the stakes are, and we know what he has to do to intervene before it's too late. Yeah, and 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 just uh, and there's so many things where, um, like when he gets up to the 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 uh, the throne and his crown falls off, and the fact that Damon comes in and picks it up for him and puts it on his head, like that little character moment. I heard that was actually improv in rehearsal. Whoa. Like, 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 uh, Matt Smith was so in character that he, he like thought that that's what the character would do in that moment. And they incorporated it into the final cut. And so, um, just the, the, that's the thing is like each person like knows their characters. I know what day, da- like I generally know what Damon's yeah, going that's after. Good I know his, his, um, his history is I know where he's going. You know, it's, um, you know, it's really good writing in a, in a TV series or a movie, but TV series have even more uh, ability to do it is when a character surprises you, but it's not shocking. You're not yeah. like, you're not like, Oh, that makes no sense. Like what's going on. I'm disoriented by how this character, you know, the sort of the heel turn in wrestling or something. Like, yeah. What? Austin's bad or whatever. You know, it just doesn't track. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. And then the next night he has to explain, you know, retroactively. It, yeah. I love when you're, you're taken by surprise that Damon actually, you, you, you're like, Oh wow. Like I, these guys have been so adversarial. I didn't expect him to show reverence towards his brother. But then also you're like, well, of course he has reverence towards his brother. His brother has loved him enough to not kill him for all of these years. You know? yeah. <laughs> and also like in this moment, like his brother's as weakest, but I think he admires him for his strength yeah. of yeah. pulling through for his family. And right. so there's that. Yeah, you're right. It's like, it was such a shock, like shocking moment, but it made sense with everything they built up with right. every scene. Every, they, they waste no, no scene is wasted. Everything builds up. You learn something about a character. Um, I think this show, like it has a lot of time jumps and they recast like the kids, they recast the girls and every time they do it, they make it seem so effortless. Like, like <laughs> it's like a, a difficult job to reintroduce characters like that. And they do it very, very well. It's, I, I'm, yeah, and I and I'm for shocked. they're they're moving fast too, and mm-hmm. and I'm keeping up with it. And I, you know, I I, I uh, sometimes resent like shows that go too fast. Or like, how many fucking names do you want me to memorize or whatever? <laughs> I'm I, I'm pretty like I'm pretty in the pocket of the thing. And it, it, um, I think you had said the Game of Thrones, even at its best, didn't really have like like a a, a heart. It didn't really have an emotional resonance the way this does. It's not. It wasn't. You know. It was. It was. Game of Thrones in its early seasons was really good with like the political intrigue. Yeah. Right. And this has, I think all that political intrigue and it has all of the heart of like, well, what does it mean to be a family? And yeah. what does it mean to be in competition with your own family? And, you know, yeah. Cause yeah, I feel like the original game of Thrones series was a bit nihilistic. Mm-hmm. I think the books can kind of feel nihilistic too. And I, I feel like there's, yeah, there's some more heart here. There's something more important here. Like when King Viserys, when he's getting treated, like in one of the previous episodes, he was just talking about like, like, have I even been tested enough as King? Like, yeah, I'm maintaining peace, but like, maybe I should have been like in battle. Maybe like people sing songs about people in battle. And then like the Macer's like, well, it's, it's good that there's peace. you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, like, and like, you can see that there's a, a weight on him of like, of this, just his, his path of maintaining peace. And I feel like, um, especially when he, the climax of him in his last moments in this episode, where you're like, 
like, no, this is how I'm going to be tested. This is my test yeah. right now. Yeah. So it, oh, it really completes good. that character arc like perfectly. And yeah. there's, and there's just like the visual storytelling is really, really good. Like you, without any words when the, um, when, uh, Renera is going to see her father, they just show the model with some like cobwebs on it. And you can tell he's, so he's been in this like state where he's, uh, you know, on opium and in his bed for, for a long time. You can, you tell that with just one shot. And, um, while I feel like in rings of power, they'll be like, the King has been in bed for, <laughs> for, for uh, six years. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like yeah, they, they, there's they, a little more elegance here. <laughs> yeah, t- uh, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I feel like the, the the audience for uh, really probably all of the episodes up until now are like, man, this guy really is not a great king. I mean, he like his conflict aversion has has, you know, in effect caused all of these problems like there need not be a rift like this, you know. So you're sitting there going like this is not good leadership. And then in this episode, you're like, yeah, it's not the strongest leadership. But you know what? Like the guy did avoid unnecessary wars. And more than that, he's he, like, he might be a bad king, but he's a good dad and he's a good, he's a good man. Yeah. And, you know, you don't really, <laughs> when you think of like Targaryen, Targaryen monarchs, <laughs> the, fir- the first thing I think of is not a good man, you know? Yeah. The Mad King and, is the first Targaryen you hear about and Daenerys is, goes like crazy at the end. And and this, this may be the last good person a- a- as the king of, of, you know, uh, of that house, um, Ever. Yeah. And I like how they set the stage for the future, too, because in this episode, there's a succession question for, like, a lord. And it's this huge deal, and everyone's freaking out. And even though there was a plan for succession, people are arguing about it. And so it's like, so when the king dies, what the fuck's going to go down, you know? <laughs> totally. I love it. Um, Yeah, I'll, I'll watch as much, you know... It, <clears throat> one of the worst things, one of the worst feelings when you're trying to get into a show is when you don't trust the show mm-hmm. where you're like, I don't, I don't know what they want to be showing me. And I like, they're treading water. So I'm treading water with them. And that's how I find myself getting so frustrated. <clears throat> this show has totally built up trust and credibility with me. I'm completely in their arms. Jump a hundred years. If you feel like it, <laughs> yeah, like do, do whatever. Like, um, I trust that you have a place you're going because they could stop right here. They could be like, that was the last episode. And I'd be like, that was wonderful. I, yeah. Like I, you know, so that, that, that's that same place that I got to with like better call Saul and breaking bad, where I was just like, you know, every, every episode, uh, uh advances it enough that it's like, it was, it was worth the ride just for that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to more, you know, it's kind of a weird, uh, simile, but it reminds me, this show kind of reminds me of that, um, that movie jobs, the Aaron Sork- Sorkin movie. <laughs> Where they have like that, you know how they go into different time periods, and um, since I read the source material, they kind of like condense things for the time period. So, it, and they do that with Jobs, where they like combine a bunch of his life events surrounding these huge events. Oh, yeah. So it kind of reminds me of that because you have oh, yeah. um, like a funeral scene in one episode, like uh, the uh, events around a funeral. So they do all the story beats around that funeral, mm-hmm. and this one's about that succession. So everything is around that succession event. Um, they have these landmark events that kind of like tell the story of that era. Yeah. And then <clears throat> like the, they had that one where they go on the big hunt, remember? And they, so there's oh, yeah. all the events that go. So it kind of reminds me of that. And I, I like that movie. It's a, it's a fun movie. <laughs> I didn't, th- I, I didn't think I would get into another game of Thrones thing in a million years. Yeah. I was, I was like, no fucking way. I, I, I was I very generous in finishing the last one. Yeah. I, I, I was, I was, I was down on it too. And especially, you know, it was coming out at the same time as, you know, rings of power and that didn't look that great either. Yeah. <laughs> so but it's I like, my hope, my hopes were down, but then, uh, the first episode was like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't yeah. believe this. <clears throat> it's really there's, good. there's some intention here that I didn't expect. Subscribe to red cow entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.